we don't really question what you're into when it no, comes we to question why you have that weekly. blank space on your wall man well there's something you can <laughs> Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whenever the hell else we come up with. How's everybody doing this fantastic, super special Saturday night? Jordan, why is it special? Um, shit, I completely spaced you on failed. the story of Passover. Wrong answer, Pedro. <laughs> What's the story Your of Passover, Pedro? Special. What? Everyone's special here. Hey, joining us live, Chat Room Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. You know what you love it. Uh, before we get going into a relatively big show this week, um, let's see what's going on with each other, man. I wrote something down because if you saw last night, uh, I've been playing Yakuza 0, which I know nothing about, other than there's so much to do in that game, and I'm not the doing stuff in game type person. So I'm yeah I, I'm sitting there. Go back and watch the stream where the dominatrix is like, "Hey, will you help me out?" I'm like, "No, nah, man, I'm busy. I, I got to get back to the office because I'm done being a like nightclub manager, and apparently I'm working in real estate at some point. It's <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to stay busy. Or you're gonna lose that pinky. That's just how it rolls. It's it's Japan, the game, dude. I mean, it is like straight up GTA Nishivaki. Um, it couple of two real moments in there a little bit <laughs> real, like wandering around at night not being able to read all in japanese trying to find the liquor store been there <laughs> meat space is like yep yeah, i know this feels um but outside of that uh been playing around not not a whole lot going on pedro you got new shinies to show off well, I got the one shiny to show off. Well, it is shiny now after I've cleaned all the dust off of it. It's a Black Magic Intensity Pro that I pulled out of a uh, desktop, an old desktop PC that uh, one of the people that I gave one of my laptops to. And she asked, is like, so I don't have any use for this uh, desktop PC anymore. Do you want it? It's like, all right, I'll see if there's anything in there that's worth it anything and the processor was a core 2 duo and the graphics card was a 9400g was, was there any ddr2 in there <laughs> yes uh, two whole gigs uh, of ddr2 uh, that's, <laughs> worth, that's, that's straight up worth something <laughs> <Right>. so <laughs> yeah two one gigabyte sticks in there and uh yeah the this uh black magic intensity pro as well apparently it used to belong to her uh dad and he uh bought his bought that computer from his work uh, and that's the one she was using. And yeah, the, this did you, was in there. Did, did you think about having some fun? You'd be like, oh, so I can keep this? Like, great, it's worth thousands of dollars. <laughs> I, I straight up asked when she dropped it off. I was like, are you sure there's nothing in there you want? No, no, no. I got everything I wanted from there. Okay. Well, it's cool. A, <laughs> it's a first gen intensity pro, which I use that for uh, this camera here. I have a 4K version, but I mean, in all, in all, all seriousness, this is worth like 19 pounds. So, hey, but still free yeah it's free yeah <laughs> but uh you run solus right yes that's the problem because uh, i went to discord and i put a picture there and ven's like oh yeah here's the thing you need to download it's cool oh to build these modules you need dkms oh that's right i'm running solus aren't i fuck okay yeah, I didn't have anything Lop. to say that. Um, <laughs> Jordan, how's your week been, baby? I mean, it's it's been restful because, like, now 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 I've I've entered the the sweet decline into middle age, and <laughs> I need more sleep now because my bones are. Brittle. Oh right, you you had that birthday thing, right? Yeah, uh, uh, Jordan uh, is the thirties now. <laughs> we're all yeah. thirty for that special moment in time. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna last for two years, and then one of us will be forty. Ooh. Oh, that's. Ooh. That's creepy. <laughs> so creepy. Yeah, so I, I I took the week off. I hung out with some friends, ate some food, ate a lot of crap. But um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was good. Now it's back to the grindstone until scale. Well, that's when I'm taking time I, I off do like grinding, week. so. Yeah, yeah, you know, the, 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 ah, the wrong button. Ha! There we go. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 horse is bu the horse is bumping and grinding every week. It's getting a little disturbing. I don't want that milkshake, horse. It's the steam litters. Day. Boom. Ha. Now we did it. Sail. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Christmas and hell. Well, it's already over. <laughs> Dude, yeah, but did we get anything? 
Not well, not really. I, I, I got we gotta talk one about game. It. I mean, I, I honestly went through it. And this everyone at home. I just wanted to like, what's the point of the sale? We're just like, okay, I, I had everything I wanted. I saw one thing that was decent, and that's the game we're going to be throwing chairs at. It was like, hey, hmm. I don't have Salt and Sanctuary. Why is that on sale for Halloween? I don't know. I don't consider that spooky. <laughs> Well, there's a it's, pumpkin it, it, it's, uh, helmet in the game, so... It, 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 it's spooky to your free time, because it will kill it. <laughs> yeah. So I, on my end, I did buy uh, Devil May Cry 5, and I tried to get it to work with Proton, and then I went to Proton DB when it didn't work out of the box. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, do this, this, and this is cool. D -d 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 nope, still doesn't start. Refund. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, the net value on that. Zero. <laughs> Jordan, did you even like make an attempt at anything? I looked. I I perused. I, 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 perused. I perused, and uh, like the 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 one thing I was gonna pick up was abandoned shit, but you know they gave us a copy of that. Right. Um. That still doesn't have. <laughs> Is Linux the Depot. Linux Depot populated yet? No, it's <laughs> I not. Checked. It's not. I I I, I, I check every day. Nope. Have, haven't done it yet. Yeah, but it's 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 that whole it's that whole um. Many, many Steam sales ago, I probably would have been very excited about some of the deals here, but I already own most of the stuff that I wanted anyways. Yeah, this, so, is, this is like the little, eh, what you do in sale between like the summer sale and the winter sale, right? Yeah, yeah. the I, winter sale is usually when you get the big discounts, which is, I'm expecting anyway, that um, near a tomato will mm -hmm. be on sale uh in the winter sale because it wasn't on sale at all during the halloween i, I, I mean i mean that, that that's what we're all like hoping for right is eventually yeah. like <laughs> that will not be 80 dollars canadian um <laughs> but yeah, yeah they're, they're, I, I don't know it's square right they're gonna squeeze as much as they can out of that game oh and still they haven't even done the first update to that game since launch Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's basically the Linux experience, but all the Windows people are getting it. For fortunately, the <laughs> Linux version is gradually getting better. So there <laughs> is that. Uh, but hey, man, we can now tear through all the games in a new library. Because that's right. Even if you've been trying to avoid it, you now <laughs> get to bring your computer to its knees. Uh, with the library update, man, check it out. You now have wishy explodey things that pop in on your screen and make your CPU scream. You can even get 200 plus CPU usage on a Threadripper <laughs> if you do so much as scroll twice. And But it, it brings all the stuff that's been in the beta right to you that I it, it's just whooshy bullshit I don't care about. I mean, yeah. That's you can kind of, still but... go to view and set it to like the old... Uh format that is just like teeny tiny little window yeah so I, I, I mean but the, the the entire new library thing was a to get a bunch of uh, new recommendation stuff in people's face and also because valve was tired of their application looking like it was written in 2006 which you know it was but um it's neither here <laughs> it, nor there um Jordan, it kind of feels like it's still an application written in 2006 with this like, shoehorned in the middle of it it's true, but you know, you know, it's it's the whole ship of Theseus thing. Eventually, it'll just be a nightmare monstrosity <laughs> that will like eat up all your CPU and all your memory, an except when you're trying nope. to play a game. Right. Yeah. Um. But I mean, like, it it's got it's definitely gotten a lot more stable over the past couple of weeks. Like, I remember it was pretty janky. Like when when I started using it, um, like the the library screen wouldn't refresh, so I had to like click away from the library to store every time I wanted to like force the screen to redraw. Oh yeah. <laughs> like that there 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 was there was terrible shit like that that's all gone now so at least it, it it's functional you can you can uh, yeah. do the thing you set out to do with minimal and one of the things yeah one of the things they fixed was um gpu acceleration for web elements is now working again which was something that they completely broke when they first introduced it so at least there's that. Uh. <laughs> I, I like that you bring that up because not only can I utilize like 200% CPU usage from the Threadripper, I can also hit my 2060 at 45% GPU usage <laughs> at the same time. That's it didn't get that high on the uh, on the 1080, but I did see like scrolling heavily. It jumped up to 30% GPU utilization. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, still need some optimization done. When, when winter is coming, <laughs> Valve just wants you to be warm. 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I really do hope that they keep improving it because I like how it looks. Um, unlike everyone else on the PC Perspective podcast, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, it, Jeremy. I, I'm just going <laughs> to to say. My first thought is, you know, we're sitting here with multi-core CPUs with effectively higher end GPUs. What if you got an Intel laptop with an iGPU? I mean, come on. Then, then, then you're going to be waiting a while for that page to refresh. I actually have to try it. <laughs> Don't do it, man. That's torture porn. <laughs> Record it. Send me a copy. <laughs> we do have a. Th- All right. We, we do have a birthday. A birthday to celebrate. A birthday. Yes, yes, we do. So uh, a couple of uh, about a Holy month shit, ago, Proton DB actually in, Proton. It shares my birthday. How about that? Oh, Damn it! Next and uh, birthday. Proton DB has now hit uh, a year as well, and uh, with that year, they're uh, well, they're doing some changes. Uh, they basically the the way they say it is the short version is that reports are now responses to a series of questions, and um, it's like one of two types: out of the box Steam play, so you download a game, it works out of the box with Proton, cool. If not, uh, then you have the Tinker Reports, which uh, it'll ask you a bunch of questions as to what you did to get the game running. The other big change is that they are also requiring you to log in through Steam, um, the Steam um, OAuth login thing. You'll have to do that if you want your um, your report as to whether or not the game is working to show up uh, about as complete as it used to be up until now except you didn't have to be logged in so i can see that uh kind of cutting down the number of reports uh, per day a little bit but anyone who wants to will probably still do it (laughs) it's it's it it is good that they're doing the reorganization so that you can get the out of the box support versus like what you need to do to tinker because like yeah a a, a lot of people do just want to know like can i press play and go at it or (laughs) it it, it's not worth the effort for them to go and like tinker around with like the wine prefix or move files around or whatever um that 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 um and ha- having like a clear separation there will make it so that there will be a lot more people more satisfied proton users because they're not going to be yep. like suckered into doing shit that they didn't anticipate doing in the first place right mm-hmm. no you definitely could be thinking about that and you know proton db's been a solid resource um from its first launch and you know they've opened up like this is how we're doing everything because i know reddit was like you're gonna open source everything or we're going to get our pitchforks out and it's like okay whatever did thing it is genuinely the best way to find like that extra bit of fuckery that you know if i'm even thinking about trying something library um i'm gonna head there first i'm like do i I even want to bother with this because sometimes it's like no you don't because bronze bronze is really close to borked in a lot of cases so you get to do this (laughs) make sure you use um like proton tricks like usually if i see that i'm like nah i'm good so yeah there's uh, a bunch of games nowadays that require like the windows media foundation which uh, is part of the reason i'm guessing why devil may cry just was having none of it despite me installing it and yeah i think i would like to see something like a subcategory of if it works with proton if you need to do anything within proton without installing anything extra you know like yeah just just like a command line so you gotta run it yeah or... like yeah e-sync disabled or something like that as opposed to well install proton tricks and make sure you install dot net 40 with this version of <laughs> maybe, like, maybe 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 like maybe re massage the definitions of like gold silver bronze to like include that we're like plat- well, they are going blocks. to get rid of the metals entirely apparently yeah. it's just going yeah. to be like a report of what you actually need to yeah. do i, I mean we're, we're just spitballing here proton db call us Hey We're man, lots, uh, lots of good ideas. Has like, anybody bought any CSGO like keys or anything lately? Well, then uh, the FBI might uh, have uh, a little bit of a talk uh, to have with you because, as Valve discovered, or I guess realized, um, uh, starting on the twenty eighth, uh, CSGO container keys purchased in game can no longer leave the purchasing account. So basically, you can't trade keys like you uh, keys for the little boxes. Yeah, uh, like you used to. Uh, it, so it, 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 tur- it turned out like 
90% of them were being used for fraudulent transactions and money laundering, so... Go figure! Uh, yeah, so if uh, CSGO skins and uh, that whole kind of uh, side gambling that was happening uh, wasn't bad enough, Valve came to realize that their keys were being used to launder money. And it's not just the uh, CSGO ones, I put this in the notes because it was like the first story that popped up, but apparently it's uh, keys for... A bunch of stuff um, and like market stuff the whole community market is actively being used to launder money so valve is going to be implementing some changes and the first one that made its way uh past well at least past my eyes was um the csgo one so if you have some keys, uh, you can still trade those because uh, all the ones that you got before this came into effect, you can still trade those. You can still put those up on the uh, the marketplace. But yeah, the uh, the new ones, you either use them or they're just they just sit in your inventory forever. Which which kind of makes a sense, right? Like the the whole being able to sell keys. Like I can maybe see gifting them to people. Um, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Just allow allowing just like straight currency exchange for that does not seem like the smartest idea to begin with. So yeah, <laughs> buy, buy this keys like on make your you own. Sit loop. back and go. We would be absolute shit criminals. I would have never thought to like. <laughs> well, like well, that, that that that's what was happening in Warcraft like years ago. Like they were just using yeah. gold farming for money laundering. Right. It provides an easy, publicly accessible way with so much traffic that it's nigh impossible to sort of pick out the illegitimate traffic unless in the, like in this case most of the traffic is illegitimate so yeah <laughs> people launder your money with bitcoins like a normal person grow up okay <laughs> or, the or, games. or buy an actual laundromat take a page out of the walter white handbook <laughs> That wasn't a laundromat. Uh, it was a car wash. It was uh, a car wash, yeah. <laughs> I know. I want to live in the reality where Jordan washes his car in a big machine. <laughs> like, 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 he like just drives wash. his car into his machine and then it goes around. No, no, he, yeah, he's just got like a ramp. <laughs> oh, like, 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 like an actually like la car laundry machine. Okay, <laughs> oh, yeah. I got, yes, I got you. Right. I just thought you meant like one of the automated car washes. <laughs> oh, no, man. that's not what I meant. Do you have the brain worms? Yes. I, I, I ate the gas station sushi and now I have brain worms. Yeah, but this isn't about worms, sort of. It's about my favorite game, golf friends. Um yeah, so they, they have a they have a bit of a worms uh package out. Um you get worms uh, packages. They they do. Uh there, there's oh, it's a holy uh, they have hand a, grenade. Yeah, they have a bunch of maps with a bunch of worm stuff. They have like yeah, the the donkeys, the holy hand grenades, uh jet packs, that's like the super sheep. Um, there, there, there's a bunch of themes. They have like jet or themed items. They have jet packs and shit too, I guess. So you can fly around and I don't know, lo instantly lose all your momentum. I, don't, I, I personally don't get this game, but you know, jet if you packs. want more ways to, to fuck around with <laughs> golf and make it even worse of a game. <laughs> hey, I, I'll, I'll put it this way. At least this version of worms works under Linux. Dude, 100% <laughs> man. And you know, it, I thought it was kind of interesting to like see kind of gameception out of all the games I would think of, and it's like the fuck around golf simulator now has worms. How did that? Who knew who on that one? Right. I mean, the extra bit of RNG uh, I'm sure will tickle Jordan's uh, fancy for this game. <laughs> I, I mean, gol golf could use more mortars. Like, I want to see like Tiger Wood try to line up a shot and then have his leg blown off by well, like. An I explosive. think for fun tonight, uh, Jordan's going to provide commentary as Pedro, mm. myself, and Shadow play around. Ooh, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you might be able to power your way through watching other people play. Po possibly, I'll have like a bleeding wound in my leg, but it'll, it'll be a thing. <laughs> All right. A couple of new games this week, starting with the 13th Doll, a fan game of the seventh guest. It is out. Uh, it's from Attic Door Productions. It's thing. And holy sweet F all, man. It is $29.99. It's a spiritual successor, they say. It's also in 16 by 9. So I don't know about that, Brad. It does look That's the a part. spirit. <laughs> Down to that stupid monkey house and that stupid monkey staircase and really poor green screening. It was blue Oh, look, it's Mr. Alert's Steam icon. Um, it, it is priced a bit just a wee on the high side. I'm not saying that trying to be cheap. I look at something like Black Mesa. It's, and it's 20 bucks. And this, this is a bit more than that. But I think this is going to be kind of priced. If you want this, you know this. 
and I'm sure it's cheesy as fuck all, which is a good thing. I say that with the love. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I I watched that trailer. It is complete with that '90s bad FMV acting <laughs> and like reboot level CGI. But like you said, it definitely looks like a labor of love. And this was one of those fan projects that actually got um that actually got folded into the uh, thir- the seventh guest like parent uh, franchise, right? Like this is officially licensed now, which is pretty neat. Um, apparently you need Steamos 3.0 though. You gotta get on the Steamos 3.0 train. Yeah, and uh, you, you also that. need the uh, if you have a look at the GPU requirements, graphics cards still under uh, manufacturer support. I'm pretty sure that most manufacturers like Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, ASRock. So, et cetera, so, so, et so, Pedro, they don't really support Linux. In, in, incidentally, though, incidentally, though, this means that you cannot play this game <laughs> on a four series NVIDIA card because it no longer has manufacturer support. Yep. <laughs> or a five series. <laughs> hey, man, it's one of those things like, hey, if it works, all right, have fun with it. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know if I could like justify picking that up. It, it would be like an interestingness. It might make for a fun stream, but I FMV died for a reason, man. Yeah. I didn't like FMV games back in the day. I actually remember I had Dark Side of the Moon. I and had Dark Side of the Moon. It was six CDs. No. <laughs> does does like Miss 2 count? Because that was like 11 these CDs that I probably still have like <laughs> 80 of them. I, th- I think Miss technically does count as FMV. No, no, the least, first Miss. That was like not, not the Not the first the one. The second no, one. No. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. That's hey, the, Riven. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, what do you think of Seven Dragons? I don't, I don't know. Could use like two more. Then, then there'd be nine dragons. Yeah. What about eight dragons? I could go for eight. Can, can we yeah, compromise no. on eight? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not happy with it, but we'll have to compromise. Can you and up to seven of your friends defeat criminal gangs and <laughs> your skills and your eight dragons? Man, this is double dragon with a CRT filter. But hey, man, I'm down with it. It's available for Linux. It's from Extend Mode. Early access joint, but Jordan hinting at local multiplayer, regular multiplayer, co-op, local co-op, shared split screen. That's 12 bucks, man. I mean, yeah. you might want to play around with it and check it out. Does this thing need... Can it? Can we really get eight people in? Do you know what type of fuster clock? Supposedly, that? yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 I mean, man, it's like it's like double dragons, but with like four more dragons, four times the dragons, man. That, that definitely has more than the recommended daily allowance of dragon. Well, like, you, well, you got to remember there were like arcade cabinets, like the um, was it the cow one that had like six people or something. There, there, there were, there, there were, uh, there were a couple like arcade games that had like a stupid amount of multiplayer. So it's cool to see some throwback to that. Also, you know, online multiplayer, it's nice. You know, play with your friends that don't exist yeah. in the immediate region. <laughs> I think and, I'm kind of yeah, done yeah, with it. it. I, I might try it out, but see, this is like one of those things I'd be willing to test with. You know, seven of my friends on Steam Remote play together with friends Steam. Oh together. God. <laughs> <laughs> to watch it and then, cry. And then his computer caught fire. At the end. Right. <laughs> yeah. After, after we spool up the CD in, man, that, that could be um kind of interesting. Man. So uh do we get anything else this week? Oh, yeah. we got we got we got three we more. We do. Uh we have uh Shuriken and Aliens. And um I saw this, it's like, oh, I I haven't seen a game that looked quite as Unity Ghetto and early days of Steam on Linux as this one in a long, long time. I'm half expecting one of the characters to immediately go into the T pose just because you looked at it funny. But it yeah, they say it's a world taken over by strange aliens, a lonesome ninja and his sword are humanity's last standing hope. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, it 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 is. Says the guy who likes Dark Souls. I I I do, but Dark I mean, Souls, it's basically the same plot as Dark Souls. A bit better than this. <laughs> I, just, I mean, uh, yeah, they're, they're, you know they're, what they're, you know what this reminds me of is Lugaru. A little bit, yeah. There's like, just like the the, yes. the movement, definitely. The <laughs> okay, movement, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that I mean, on a budget, but 
<laughs> very, very tight budget, and Lugaru wasn't exactly like, you know, paragon of the technology of its time or anything. It, L it Lug yeah, Lug no. <laughs> Lugaru didn't also have, like, all those stock assets, like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it does look very much like the Unity Ghetto. I would be surprised if this was using anything other than Unity. Uh, it's actually but, done in Ghetto. Yeah, I'm not even going to throw on, down on it too oh, it's hard, in man, because... <laughs> no. It, no. Dude, I, I was looking at this, and I'm like, you know... This is one of those things that we definitely talk about if if this was like early access, like, hey, man, I'm just doing this. A lot of this is placeholder stuff. I'm working on the animations, but, you know, come take a crack at it. Give us some feedback. I'm like, right on, right on. This, however, is like this game's coming out in like three or four days. Baked. Yeah, this is December 2nd, apparently. Yeah, so uh, li li literally a month from now. So hopefully, yeah. hopefully you can uh, three hire or four an artist. Days. Yeah, same yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be, seriously. You're not going to be doing a whole lot. Um, yeah. Best of luck to the team with it. Um, we do have some retro stuff, though. How do you want to go with this? Is it Araku? 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 Araku. Araku's modern life. Araku, yes. Yeah, Araku's modern life. Well, this is the Saga RPG action, man. Action-packed. Uh Retro hipster pixels? I don't know what I feel on this one, man. I mean, my first thought was like, is this altered Contra Beast? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it definitely looks like if Contra and like Zelda had a baby. Then, then I'm like, okay, but then I turn into a beast mode and go doing all that. I mean, it looks the part. It's got that down. I don't know if it's necessarily 16-bit oddness. That I would say about that, but it looks kind of like eight bit plus NES. Yeah, it, it, mm -hmm. it, it, it looks like something you would play on DOS. But yeah, which kind of throws you off because it says in the description it's inspired by 2D classics for SNES and Mega Drive, right? Like, right. Again, this looks like a DOS game. So but, you know, it, I, I think maybe <laughs> they definitely stuck with like a. There we go. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they, There's the altered beast bit. <laughs> stuck with like a Genesis color palette, though. That's dirty, man. And what? What was that? What did you say, Goku? <laughs> no, the thing, the thing before that, like the weird prolapse eyeball. <laughs> uh, what do we have? That's Any nasty. distribution? Four hundred and eighty-one. Somebody's got that locked down, right? I mean, yeah. you only need uh, eight megabytes of RAM. Somehow, I doubt that. Because it runs in DOSBox. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. A little wait, bit of wait, surprise. Wait. This this dropped like right before. Uh, we yeah. Today. And it, it came with a demo too, which is pretty neat. It's not common to see demos these days. Usually it's just the Steam it's refund just policy. It's demo right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's it's Carrion. It's uh, from Devolver Digital, developed by uh, Phobia Game Studio. And I thought for a second, it looks a lot like Metroid. But when I started playing the demo, it it's... It's like, and yet it moves, or World of Goo, where, like, you're playing the thing, or Carnage, or whatever, and you're trying to, like, murder all the scientists in this base, right? And you, like, get bigger and bigger the more biomass you eat. Um, and you, you move around like goo, and you just become the goo. Be, be the goo. Be the evil goo. You're the goo. Goo who? Okay, so like it is it's, it's uh, a goo clue. literally... You're playing the end of uh, Inside, but it's a uh, 2D hipster pixel. Okay, cool. <laughs> and 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 and, and less like Lovecraftian body horror and more like, oh, I'm an evil red blob and I'm gonna eat you. Om nom nom nom. All red blobs are evil, <laughs> according to Jordan. If you're a good red blob, hey man, LGC cares. I like you. Don't listen to Jordan. He just I, 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 I got to detect evil spell for you, man. We'll 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 see what's what. Just a um, <laughs> regular red blob trying to get ahead in life. Jordan's like, no, you're evil, man. Hey, That's hey, man. So, it depends on the job because sometimes you want to hire an evil fucker. You use that as an excuse for everything. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Coming up next, we talk about some brand new Dix Vix and it's party time. Party hard. Excellent. We don't really question what you're into when no, it comes to the No, we question why you have that weekly. blank space on your wall, man. Well, there's something you can do about it. <laughs> there is totally something you can do about it, and Jordan's going to tell you. 
Yeah, if, 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 if you are tired of blank spaces on Pedro's walls, you can give us money so that we can buy <laughs> stuff for him to put on those walls, and it will it can be as terrible as you want. Wait, That's I have a better of... idea. Let's buy stuff, take a picture of it, and send him the picture so we can hang it on the wall. You know, I, you a little call, a little call, like a little call. Three I, size print, and I will. I, I, I see the pros and cons of both, and I'm, I'm paralyzed <laughs> with options. But you don't have to be. You can head on over to linuxgamecast.com. We got a drop-down for you to select if you want to pick your way of supporting us if you like this stuff. Uh, we got a Patreon. Patreon's pretty awesome. You get uh, access, or you got LibrePay merch. We got we got a PayPal. We got wish lists for the studio, for myself, for Jill, for Pedro. We got If you want to send us some Magic untraceable, laundered Bitcoin, Quit then you can. Quit sending us CSGO keys. We can't launder those anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good stuff, but definitely check out Patreon, though. You got a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, that is that awesome, way. man. It's what has let us get to the point that we're at right now. I mean, it gives us it, a budget that we can finance, and plus we're able to give back some pretty sweet rewards for the people backing us, and that's really cool. I mean, you get access to our Discord. You get access to the pre pre super shows and which is our production meeting if you want to catch the behind the scenes how that sausage is made and uh gang of other stuff yeah uh, you get, show get some rsvp yeah. for our game streams we were doing some left for dead uh katana and yep. e even even old scott michaud shirked his deadlines to come play games with us it was cute he was <laughs> like i might play i don't know like i could play and you were just having none of it and he was like fine I'll yeah play. Um, <laughs> right yeah, but if you, if, you, if you want to play some games with us on the Fridays or the Thursday streams, yeah, definitely becoming a Patreon gets you a quick, quick lineup to uh, to that. Um, we got merch if you want to buy some t-shirts, some stickers, some mouse pads. Uh, are, some, uh, no, are we getting nipple tassels? Don't don't tease me then. I might have just been pinching my own nipples for self-gratification. Damn ahead. it! Damn it, man! Yeah, and uh, we, 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 we got them wish lists. If you, if you buy us some nice stuff for our respective studios, then you end up on Frank's Fuckwall. There's still one slot left. If you want to be the last person on the Fuckwall 2.0 before we got to get an even bigger piece of Bristol board. I can't reach it. I'm really trying. <laughs> you got to work, work on that shoulder mobility, man. I believe in you. No, yeah, uh, yeah. If, if like that dislocation happened, I'm like, nope, we're done. Yeah, <laughs> you, you just hear the audible boop. Yeah. I'd be all jacked up, dude. Um, yeah. Uh, we got a we got a new goal. Then you have uh, you have we some. We do education. first. I want to thank uh, people kicking into the Twitch Prime Prime subs. If you're not doing anything with them, you got them for Amazon. I use mine. If you want to use yours, we get a little cut of that. Smashly G and Massifoni. That's mm -hmm. cool. You. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> That's awesome. One thing I do want to announce: uh, Wednesday, I gave it a mention of. You might notice that. I mean, if you keep track, it's like this mixer looks slightly different. That's because this is our old newer mixer. You know, we had the uh, old mixer, the 20 year old one, because the way we start route some audio. And it's like, okay, I'm going to set this up. Let's get this one. This one's got the USBs. Why are you doing this other than? Let me tell you, because I want to start doing a series, uh, like a master class, like a serious, legitimate education thing, like starting with just media production, covering everything from like budget, podcasting equipment, and setups. That will actually work all the way up to like slinging multi-track audio over fiber, like into OBS and streaming it live. So mm. yeah. And we're not too far away from it, man. We're about $50 away from a $300 goal and we're going to be rolling those. I don't think I'm going to pinch myself too hard. We do got to get some new equipment. Uh, that's for that goal. And I think I'd be able to turn out at least one a month at very minimum. So if that's something you're interested in, or you want to help out with that, that'd be awesome. Yeah, if not, Pedro, get out of my face. We can go Dynafy. Thank you, Basil. Basil. <laughs> take, take, take your banana with you. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm kind of excited. That's something I've been meaning to do for a while. I, I do get to pick up like the ability to capture two 4K streams at one time. So, and I got to get an actual like legitimate camera. I tried to do it with the D3400 that can't record anything because the SD card's dead with a long HDMI. That didn't work very well, but it was entertaining. I should have recorded that. You could have put did, some- Did the in. hair tie snap too or- uh... No, no. <laughs> it's just the HDMI because I couldn't do it in here. So I was got ah. a really long HDMI cable that didn't quite work. Then I was in here trying to start a recording. Then just, just get the right tool for the job. So that's that. News. Everyone's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. All now, right. Bring on the news. No oh, 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 uh, driver oh, oh, oh. updates this week. No, we, but, we, we, uh, we got Dix, we got Dick's Vix. Yeah. 1.4.4. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, 
we talked last week about uh, they introduced a new state cache format. There were some problems with that. Uh, they fixed it with uh, 4.4. Um, they've also removed the D3D10 enable flag because it doesn't make any sense to have that on to flag that. It's just on by default all the time now. And if you're uh, tired of waiting for Open Skyrim, they uh, fixed some crashes in the special edition, the uh, DirectX 11 one. So uh, that's available for your perusal as well. Um, there's also a couple other uh, Saints Row and Titan Quest fixes if you're on NVIDIA. But uh, it, it continues to just chug along in terms of like minor performance uh, improvements, trying to fix new features that they're implementing, like the state cache format. It's not, nothing too dramatic, but I think we're, we're kind of past the era of like drastic changes for Dix Fix. It's kind of stabilized now. Yeah. And uh, really, the, uh, they do bring up the um, Skyrim SE, like you mentioned. And yeah, Skyrim SE and Fallout 4, they still have some issues, especially if you have the audacity to have more than one monitor at any one time. Um, it, they they need some workarounds like using the um, Wine um, virtual desktop and you have to tell it to capture the mouse and not let it go anywhere. Otherwise, it throws a bit of a fit. Uh, yeah, the, that still needs work because it would be very nice to be able to, say, install Skyrim SE or Fallout 4 directly from the Steam library and not have to worry about it. That, mm. that, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, still trying to get Skyrim job SE sorted, so... I just wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, and I am I'm still kind of impressed that it's not done yet, because that, you know, for the longest time, it had issues with audio. And, whoa Uh-oh. Uh -oh. A network oh, okay. problem occurred. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, we're back. Uh, yeah. It did have an issue with the audio for, like, a hot second, and that seems to be sorted. I don't know if they'll ever get that completely, like, nailed down. So, mm hmm mm. But we do have D9VK. We do. And um, apparently um, part of the uh, release also comes as a big help from the previous uh, DXVK144 because they rebased uh, on the latest version. They also um, introduced a couple of more D3D uh Point size, point size min, max, point scale, points uh, enable, uh, point spr sprite enable. So it basically a bunch of new stuff uh, that uh, wasn't present in the DirectX 9 to Vulkan implementation that they're working on. And uh, one of the, like, one of the games that uh, kind of jumped out at me was uh, CSGO. I was like, that's native. Yeah, you're, that, you're you're getting you're gonna. I mean, I don't think I think Valve's smart enough to not vac ban you for using Proton, but yeah, it's it's a little strange. There's a lot of there's also a lot of other fixes for Halo Two, which actually was a really good game. So um, that's it's good to see that they're getting some uh, work on getting that operational under the Linuxes. But yeah, all those all those um, all those uh, features, the point size, whatever, those are apparently to fix a bunch of Game Maker Studio titles that were just not working. So. Well, I, one of the things I'm kind of interested in is they've uh, fixed a thing for CSGO that's going to bypass like the NVIDIA API stuff. Um, mm -hmm. why, why would you play CSGO A with this when there's a native version? Also, B, don't do it with this because you'll get banhammered out of existence. Yeah. Uh, I mean, right now you don't get banhammered. You will just be dumb to do insecure and VAC won't ban you because you're playing on the non-VAC enabled servers. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, I, I could, I could some... maybe see an argument for like completeness sake. Like we, we got this working, we shouldn't <laughs> use it, but it shores up our implementation of the API. So I've heard some people say that like the, the way the mouse behaves is different between windows and Linux and people who are used to playing it on windows and then they change the Linux and it, they, it feels dif uh, different to them. I don't know the validity of that. I, I heard that I heard that too. Something about like the the way Linux handles acceleration differently than Windows or something. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, but the, the, come you on, have man. The you, you got to think about it. Though. Speaking of like bizarre things getting fixed, uh, Wine has one. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Wine uh, actually has a few. And uh, the version 419, the development release, is now available. And they fixed a number of additional VB script features, more uh, state block support for Wine D3D, some fixes for ARM64, and uh, several other uh, bug fixes. And uh, yeah, like Ven is highlighting, some uh, notepad.net fixes. <laughs> Dude, come on. Some? Three. Three changes made, made, made to Notepad. And seriously, who the hell uses Notepad to the point where the, it's, 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 it's can not you like find a bug in it? Yes, apparently you found a bug in it because you're continuously using Notepad and this is an issue to you. <laughs> there has to be like what this has to be the work of one person out there. It's like, but oh, oh. How many, no. how many other text editors, Windows running through, do you have to knock out of your mouth to get to using Notepad through Wine? I mean, where are you at in life? Well, it, so it's, it's it's not Notepad proper. It's Notepad.net, sort of like Paint.net, yeah. where it's supposed to be the enhanced <laughs> version. So it's it's closer to something like Notepad. Let me pretend I can distinguish the two. I can't. You well, yes, because under Linux they're all just text editors, but under Windows text editors are special because Notepad sucks. And apparently Notepad.net was running at seventy percent CPU constantly under yeah, Wine. All the time, so yeah. How you could know, you, you know, tell maybe, that was maybe, a bug. <laughs> it's not. It's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> But yeah, with uh, the uh, update to Wine 419, DXVK uh, is now up to 144, D9VK is up to 0.3. I think that should about spell Proton version bump, no, Valve? No? Yeah, pro Not probably yet? next week. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see. I've been following the uh, bug tracking issue on my goddamn Batman Arkham Knight, and <laughs> it, it's been whittled down to it is there's something they've done to the build of Proton. Only Proton has an issue launching it. Mm. Period. So yeah, interesting. Yeah, uh, I look forward to that update in like Batman <laughs> working. If, nice. if exe name equals Arkham Knight, then return zero. <laughs> yeah, conspiracy. Get out your tinfoil, tinfoil shoes. We don't have tinfoil hats here. We can't afford them. Retro Arch. One eight. Yeah, uh, Retro Arch. They have a new version out. Uh, One dot eight dot oh. Lots of the uh, lots of the fixes here have to do with the uh, Android iOS version because people like to play emulators on their phones while they're waiting for stuff to happen. Um, although there are a couple of cool new general features, like um, they have uh, dry dynamic driver switching on the fly now, which is useful because a lot of the cores that they use only use OpenGL, and a bunch of them are starting to be upgraded to use Vulkan, but that requires a driver reload, and that was causing some instability in previous versions, so now they can do, uh, they can do graceful video switching. Um, they also enabled MAME layouts with OpenGL drivers. I looked into that documentation just to like give a better summary, and it went way over my head. So if you're an OpenGL <laughs> nerd, it will probably make sense to you. You can find the links to this in our show notes and read it yourself, and then send us some hate mail saying, Jordan, you silly idiot. Um, but it's out for your perusal. You can go play some old ass games. Uh, maybe, maybe with uh, maybe with some Steam Remote Play, but we'll get to we'll get to that a little okay. later. Okay. Yeah, sure you can. <laughs> no, can, sure you can. can, can. But uh, the one of the things that they fixed was the material UI UX for uh, Android, and I didn't even know that that was a legitimate complaint until I heard coworker Dave actually download um, RetroArch to his phone so he could like try and play some games on his phone. It's like, oh, this looks horrible. Oh, this is horrible. It's let me look at that. It's like, oh, okay, all right. I guess that 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 could be improved, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> Did it look horrible or accurate? <laughs> I mean, it I mean, very open source project e mm. <laughs> programmer so, art. Yeah, <laughs> so 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 accurate. Uh, speaking yeah. speaking of programmer <laughs> speaking of programmer art, uh, Super Tux Party, not Super Tux Cart or Super Tux, which we get all confused all the time. Uh, they have Alpha. Not, Can I not play it on my out. Nvidia Shield? Maybe. Um, so um, yes, they they, 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 added, they added some new settings. Um, so you can now uh, you can now set the number of turns that you want to play. Uh, you can set kick costs, and they have they have AI difficulty now. So you can have like turbo cheater, or you can have like <laughs> pants on head. I'm just gonna munch on a glue stick and move forward one slot at a time. Um, 
Yeah, I'm. I, I am. A, I'm a bit sad though that like the new game. Th there's also like a co-op new game where you, like you have to um, defend GNU against something. And I'm like, man, if you're gonna have a GNU co-op game, you need to have like all the players like team up and fight Mecha Stallman with katanas. <laughs> um, you, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I also made a Lex Luthor joke in the show notes, but I'm not going to bother with that now. Um, but it, it's it's, avail it's available on itch. Um, you can get it for free. Uh, it's open source. There's a link to their GitLab as well. So if you want to play some party games. I tried it. Open I source downloaded mascots. it. Um, gave it a spin. I mean, it launches. I definitely get in game. And I was immediately confronted with the fact that I had fucking all idea what was going on. I mean, I, I attempted to press buttons and do things. And I rolled a die. Then I moved. Then I was like, I'm out. It's that's Mario about, that's, Party. That's about my I experience guess. with Mario Party yeah. too. Oh, okay, in all fairness, I've never played Mario Party, so I didn't even have that as a reference. Yeah, so. okay. yeah, I can see that. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. It's it's price to sell. It's been interesting to follow this as it's continued its development. So indeed, yeah, keep it's on. It's done in Godot on. too, so that's that's always nice. Yeah, that was kind of mm -hmm. good to see. I saw that and I was like, hey man, this is Godot project, right on. Needs Vulcan. Uh, Oh, that's a one. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Remote about play French, is baby. a thing that's on Steam. Mm -hmm. But um, a enterprising young lad, um, Roboron thirty four. Ro Ro Roboron. Rob. R -O -B. Roboron. <laughs> Robe. How or is it, is it is it there's the mute button how to play any local multiplayer game online with Lutris and steam with remote play together apparently this is like wicked wicked easy to do he breaks it down and you don't have to do much for it um now definitely with a note that's a very neat workaround but i kind of get a feeling pedro that this might get nope from orbit by valve question mark well, Valve, maybe not so much. I can see Valve doing something about it if enough developers kick up a stink because people are doing this, but honestly, I don't see that happening. Uh, and I know that that won't be a thing because Valve was totally okay with like enabling in-home streaming with uh, non-Steam games. If you just added a non-Steam game to your Steam library, you could still push uh, in-home streaming through that. And they were totally okay with that. So, yeah, Valve's probably not going to be the ones uh, making a fuss about I, it. I bring this up because I'm not entirely sure exactly how the remote play together works. Does any of that go over Valve's network data-wise? All of it. Uh, yeah. That That's kind of the whole point. Because Valve have that... They have their own VPN, basically, for people to play multiplayer games through Steam Play. So... It makes sense. That, that's what uh, I, we really got to get in and like hammer on the back end of that giggity because I want to see if it does any type of peer to peer handoff as opposed to. Yeah. Well, uh, well, at first it needs to work properly on Linux. Well, we wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we, some some of us have lives. No, uh, but uh, one, 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 one thing that uh, the Rob Roboron, Ro Roboron does bring up in the in the forum there is that he was testing this with uh, emulators, specifically with the Wii emulator. Um, and I'm curious to see if like if, if Valve doesn't care, maybe Nintendo will. They're like, oh, oh, you can play you can play our games now with other people. No, we don't want that. Valve, you gotta you gotta cut that shit out. We're gonna bring out the lawyers. All we need to do is best stream ever is find a way to get NES Battletoads multiplayer going. <laughs> yeah, according, according to this, this will just straight up work. So, yeah, it, basically, it, what you do is uh, you set the ignore me environment variable to the percentage command percentage, which is the Steam wildcard for whatever game you're starting. You add that to the launch properties of any game that has local multiplayer, and then you just replace command for, uh, percentage command percentage with, say, Lutris or whatever emulator to run a specific um rom and the game will just start and it'll give you the little notification at the bottom okay just go to your overlay right click on a person and invite them to play that that uh, clever very clever <laughs> it, it it's pretty slick it um I'm like 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 I said. I think I've, this 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 is like an interesting bit of technology that Valve has put out, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. it, it's 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 going to allow for some weird fuckery, and I'm excited to see what it leads to. 
It yeah, is. Nvidia had done something like this in the past. Oh, Nvidia got Mozilla. it out. I mean, it, yeah. been, I mean <laughs> like a lot of people forget about that. Is that's been in like closed beta with Nvidia for a minute. I mean, yeah, it's a, it was available through Chrome, and basically that that that's what it did. You just passed on your session with a little recording of the screen of the game and if you say it's like help me bit beat this boss for me and the person remotely would play the game so many times you could get you killed before you cut it off uh, so so it's yeah. basically the big brother <laughs> mode oh man. <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> all right we gotta bounce all right coming up next it's time to get salty and may maybe engage in some sanctuary. I don't know. We're throwing chairs at it. It's going to be fun. Spooky. Sounds good to me, Sluggo. Uh, I just had a terrible joke, but for the for the sake of the YouTubes, I'm not going to say it. Welcome back to the Chairquisition. This is where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, Solus, and Dubois. And then, only then, can the question be asked. Was it fun? This week, we're taking a look at Salt and Sanctuary from Ska Studios. Developed or uh, helped ported over by a flippity jibbity flippity floppity sexy man. Uh, it's done in FNA. Uh, you can pick it up for about twenty bucks. Um, what is it? Com explore a haunting, punishing island in this stylized two D action RPG. Sultan Sanctuary combines fast and brutal two D combat with richly developed RPG mechanics in a cursed realm of forgotten cities, blood soaked dungeons, and desecrated monuments. Um, Ven was a real fucking sweetheart this week, and he bought me a key, so I gotta I gotta thank him. He's He's so sweet. Look at look at that face. Merry birthday, fucko. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, never everyone else bought the game on their own. So that that's it. Uh, then how had, had, had it run? Man, uh the Threadripper was able to power through this juggernaut. Uh speaking of that's 1920X, 32 gig controls of RAM, running a 2060 displayed at UHD. No issues whatsoever. You expect that from a flip it port. Anytime you see GLib COS. You'll be pretty sure it's going to run out of the box. Uh, solid 60 at 2160. I ran it at 1080 just to see. Did the same there. No graphical glitches were encountered. However, however, and I can't ding it at chair, but it really pissed me off, is it would not remember the button prompts for my PS4 controller. I could set it to PS4 and it was fine. Started the game the next time. It showed back up with the X clone prompts. And that menu is dog slow to go through each and every time to the point where I just resorted to using the X clone. But quality assurance, clean bill of health, solid four chairs. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 30, 64 bit with the i7 6700K with hyper threading on and the mid with hyper threading and the spectrum mitigations on because I like to live dangerously. <laughs> uh, it launches. Uh, I also, there's a GTX 1080 Ti in there. Yeah. Um, uh, performance at 1080p is the same with for performance at 4K 60 because it's locked. Uh, graphics. I actually really like the Ska Studio style. I was happy to see more yeah. stuff out of them because yeah, I, I just like their art style. Um, so that that's all good. And controls, yeah, buttons work in a timely manner, so it gets a clean bill o health. More chairs. Yeah, and over here in Solus Land with the uh, Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, it launches out of the box. There are no cloud saves, which was kind of disappointing because I figured, hey, yeah, let's use my old character. Nope, nope, that shit's just not cool in 2019, so I kind of want to dig in a chair, but that wouldn't be fair, so... Okay, the performance, yeah, no, V-Sync is a damn lie in this game. All it does is it locks the frame rate at 60, it doesn't actually sync uh, to the V-Blanks proper, but if you have a free sync monitor like I do, uh, you can actually see that in uh, in use. So yes, it does uh, work just fine with the G-Sync compatible thing on NVIDIA. The graphics, yeah, it's uh, Michelle De Silva's artwork still rocking if you played... Um, what was it? Um, Charlie Murder Vampire. Dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah, Dishwasher and uh, Charlie Murder. Yeah, it's it's exactly the same style, so it's immediately recognizable. The controls, yeah, the DualShock 4 worked out of the box, the Steam Controller worked out of the box. Uh, the game is working as intended. Uh, it's unfortunate that working as intended means that it doesn't get um, cloud saves or a high refresh rate support, but yeah, four chairs. <laughs> All right, well... That, that's that's the thing. Now it's on to <laughs> one very long review, one very short review, and one very, very, very long review. Ven, do you have fun? Um, Fence is longer. 
Hey, man, listen, <laughs> I, I put time into this. I, I genuinely did because it, it, it was kind of painful for me to do that. But, you know, you, you got to power through. Check it out. This has been said before, but I'm going to say it again. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is not a failure to mute, to communicate. Where am I going with that? Yeah. Nay, it is uh, 2D Dark Souls, man. It That's what it is. It's only hard if you find yourself the impatient type. You know what? They even made multiplayer as convoluted as Dark Souls. Because I was thinking, hey, man, this has got shared screen multiplayer. It's like, no, it's got to be on the same box with this. And you got to put this thing down and get the other person to do this thing. And it kind of, man, fuck that noise. I put about almost an hour into it. I put more in the, but the initial 45 minutes that I did, it was just like straight up getting noped by that first boss while simultaneously trying to pretend I cared. Spoiler, I didn't, man. I really didn't. And... Here's the thing. It all boils down to, like, lack of proper motivation. I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what it is. Because uh, with this game, I even asked Pedro on Wednesday. I'm like, where's my motivation? He's like, you're on an island. Escape. You know what? That didn't work for me. And don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy a proper challenge. Earlier this week, I spent a solid hour learning how to nope one singular fucker in Yakuza 0. I even had to go to the YouTubes to get some of those advanced strats for fighting that particular boss. Or, I don't know if it's necessarily a boss. However, um, I even told Yakuza to eat a bag of dicks when it took sympathy on my old ass. And it was like, hey man, do you just like want to put it on easy mode for a minute? I'm like, no, I gotta do this. I gotta figure it out. Why? Because I was invested in the story. I really, really, really wanted to nope that ass banjo. Get him proper dead. Salt and Sanctuary, though, for me, it boiled down to wait, boop, roll, and maybe take a swig of my health potion because it's just got some, it's not even occasional. You know it's coming with characters just doing fuck you because that's why. Ha ha, look how hard we are. Ah, I changed it up and now you're dead. I'm like, yay, you did the thing, game, good on you. However, at the end of the day, check this out and take that shot. If you get off on this type of game and you know who you are, this is going to deliver the 2D business for the rest of us normies like me. It's a hard pass. If you like, if you wanted to play like a deconstructed 2D Dark Souls, go for it, man. It's there. That's your thing. If you played Dark Souls, I played Dark Souls 3, which I guess is assumed to be like the easy lightweight when you're like, nah, man, this is hard for the sake of being hard. I can respect it. I don't get it. It's not my thing. And unfortunately, neither is this. So, um, yeah, at any price, hard nope from old man Venn. Yeah, I'm kind of with Venn on this one because, like, d gameplay boils down to waiting for an opening, taking your swing, rolling away, chugging a hit point, hit or a health potion or whatever. And what? And that's basically the entire loop, right? You're just waiting for an opening. It becomes tedious. Uh, and for some people, some people are really into that sort of dueling where it's all, it's all, it's all about timing and whatnot, but that's, that's not my, uh, that's not my particular cup of chainsaw. Right. And this is why we have three people on the fun segment so that we can get a bunch of different viewpoints on what these games are like, but yeah, it's 2d dark souls. You run around, you collect souls, you set bonfires or salt and sanctuaries in this case. Um, and yeah, and trial and error of the bosses until you come up with a solid strategy and then move on to the next one. Um, like I said, it's not really my definition of fun. Uh, I enjoy the art style. I like the storytelling that Scott Studios does. But um, yeah, much like Ven, I struggled to find the motivation to continue. So I'm going to give it one. I, I, I can I can see people that were like, pe this would appeal to people, but I'm not one of them. Well, I am because I love this game and I could sit here and list out all my gripes with it, like how you lose max HP and max stamina if you have the goal to, oh, I don't know, play the game. Uh, like how flying enemies all seem to have this nasty habit of flying off screen and lending several cheap shots on you before you even get a chance to do anything. Uh, like how the game seems to rely on darkness a little too much. Hell, uh, one of the areas in like the later game, uh, the background is just straight up pitch black. So, but I'm not going to do that 
anymore. Um, instead, I'm going to tell you that, in my opinion, this is the peak of the games that James and Michelle De Silva uh have released thus far it's slower paced than dishwasher and charlie murder but there's a lot more depth to it and if you want to say start the game as a, a mage and then you want to spec in great swords well wouldn't you know it there's actually a very high level um great sword which not only makes that build uh feasible it is actually very recommended if you go look at in the uh, the steam forums what I'm trying to say is, um, much like Dark Souls, you're not stuck to a character class, you're not stuck to your level ups, you're not stuck to anything except the island. But unlike Loss, I actually enjoyed uh, Salt and Sanctuary and very much appreciated the ability to play it again, even if that boss is kicking my ass. <laughs> Four chairs. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. If you're a masochist or you're just super into Dark Souls and telling people how good you are at video games, this is a game for you. Yeah, it, there's a lot to do. I mean, there, there's the argument to be made if you want to get good scrub, but I I like their other games. You know, I enjoyed uh, Vampire Simile and uh, the, what was the other one? Charlie, Charlie Murder. Charlie Murder. Mm -hmm. I, I like the art style. I, I like the character animation. I mean, the game is incredibly well done, but I mean, it's D Dark Souls 2D down to the spreadsheet simulation. And I know... Pedro gets a raging clue about every single aspect of all that, to which I just can't be asked about. I, I'm too old and too simple of a human being. But, hey man, each to their own, right? Indeed. Coming up next, Skyrockets in Flight. There's no afternoon delight because it's like 10 o'clock in the evening. What's wrong with you? There we go. It's the end of the show. That this was a really bad end. rhyme, and I do not apologize come, at all. Come uh, on. <laughs> no, not going to happen. Uh, we have a Canadian person on the show. He can apologize for all of us. Uh, in the meantime, if you'd like to let us know exactly what we should apologize for, go on over to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form, make sure LGC Weekly is the show you have selected in the little box at the top, and we will feature your message right here, right now. If you're a game developer and you want us to have a look at your game, make sure you include three keys or a build that we can share amongst all of us. Otherwise, we'll just kind of make fun of you. We've done that a lot. Please don't be more than that likely person. We're going to log into like the Steam Curator thing and be like, uh, okay, and just let it stay there. You sent us the one key. Nope. <laughs> kind of hard to even like mix between. Like maybe one of us is like if there's three, there's like three chances. During the week that somebody's yeah. at least going to play it, that's going to be free exposure, even if we're like, eh, all right, well, we'll take a look at it. Anyway, let's get right into it. Speaking of game developers. Yeah, uh, Skyrocket. Um, this is from DD Studios. They say, hey, guys, thanks for saying about Skyrocket. We hope that Linux community enjoy with the game. Uh, for those of you, for those of you yes. who don't remember, Sky, <laughs> Skyrocket was kind of like um, that shoot 'em up um, platformer. Steven University uh, looking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, they, they've changed the font now so that it doesn't look like it's ripping off Steven Universe. <laughs> but um, yeah, but they 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 do have a demo if you're curious about it. The the game's on sale for like seventeen bucks Canadian. Yeah, they were like, um, hey man, go yeah. try the demo. It's like okay, and they were also like, it's not really so much a bullet hell even though it really looks like one yeah mm -hmm. and uh with someone else uh not using the uh developer account was saying the game was in development long before um what was uh, the the game i made a comparison to uh cuphead Tic -tac -toe. <laughs> no cuphead ah. so like, the game was in development before cuphead came out so that comparison's not fair it's like Really? That's where you want to go with that. All right. <laughs> hey, man, listen, you, you swear to this sometimes. Maybe it, I mean, it, it could have been in development for a long, long time. Uh, last but not least, Ken writes in, and he's like, yo, man, check this out. You were talking about Homeworld. I'm like, that's right, Ken, we were. He's like, I've been playing Homeworld series since 1999. Youngster, pre-Steam era, but since I moved to Linux full-time a year ago, it's all for not... K N O T S. Not, yeah. Wrong, not, but Cannot. okay. <laughs> uh, since Proton and Steam do not support the older 32 bit games like H Homeworld, okay, I'm left in the cold period to zero. Years of gameplay out the window. P 
period, wait, oh, open parentheses, <laughs> close, period, even. Um, going back to Win 7 HW and remastered not working. Guess I'll have to wait for HW 3.1 HW Pi years. <laughs> Overdue, man. <laughs> you confused Ben so much. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> well, listen, it, it, it's nothing like that freaking manifesto we read a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, right? no, that is uh, leagues above. At least there's some periods there, but yeah. Right. At least I don't have to trust that Pedro's accurately translating it, because I'm pretty sure he that thing said nothing that what Pedro have described. There's a little bit of good news, though, man. I did a little digging around. There is a proton launcher. You got to do a little bit of extra work to get it up and working. The HWRC, this will be in the show notes. Uh, to get the Homeworld Remastered collection up and running on your system. It's a bit of a script, but hey, man, it makes with the working. I've never played Homeworld, but hey, man, I'm, I'm glad, always glad that when there's a series, people just won't let go. And Linux is going to be the preservation for a lot of this stuff, you know? Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. <laughs> So. Because, uh, like uh, Ken was saying, apparently it doesn't even work on Windows 7 anymore. So chances are it's not going to work on Windows 10 at all. Uh, and t t go figure, Linux has the best uh, Win32 implementation, at least when it comes to playing games nowadays. I want to take this moment to, like, <laughs> thank you, Microsoft, for killing Windows <laughs> 7 and effectively, like, Firewire support, apparently, because really stupid expensive interfaces are showing up on ebay for like 200 bucks right now <laughs> and i'm just like i i'm tempted to turn into like i don't even need these and they're like 45 dollars just like get it out of here we can't use it we got to get a thunderbolt interface now just, just start stockpiling them man i'm i'm definitely going to buy another one because it would be irresponsible not to have a backup one but yeah man good time if you're a linux user get a firewire card man We'll walk that. We'll definitely make that one of the things in the uh, new series. We got, however, on that bombshell, let's cue the music, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. For the three hundred and seventy-six time, you can always find me at shit. What am I at? Vince Stone on Twitter, <laughs> being old and cantankerous and forgetting stuff in the heat of the moment. Um, I think I'm just at Vin on mass.linuxgamecast.com that's our Nothing mastodon like that. instance i post there i do things uh click on heart or something and i'll click on heart back i don't know how that works we'll be best friends though heart to heart i'm jordan swung and i'm sorry you can find me at the burning fool on twitter or plus no there's no plus jordan swung anymore google yeah. plus <laughs> damn it jordan who's old now look at you, you 30 back year old in my day we back. had no competition in the social <laughs> medias pro joe at mass.linuxgamecast.com Network problems. Pedro died. Uh, my, my, Minecraft out there for a second oh, there too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it died. It just straight up went kaput. back from the dead. But yeah, um, at unaccounted for <laughs> on Twitter, that's the one that matters. And uh, like I was saying, I very much look forward to Jordan uh, continuously cocking things up now that he's over to 30. Oh. Continuously? <laughs> like I haven't been doing it already? What's wrong with you? <laughs> now, now it's going to be on like extra special hard mode. It's going to be brilliant. We're going to love it. And, and it's just that with more joint pain. <laughs> Did we learn anything? I danger. Don't question. be old. Don't be old. Get off our yeah, lawns. And, uh, lawn off it. Lawn and old. <laughs> Dad, if I have one, we love you. Oh man, all the credits are so blurry. I'm not going to be able to read them. No, I can't it's even on. see the credits. So it's all on Ben. <laughs> Take us home, baby. <laughs>
Dirty D. <laughs> Linda, Vertnog, Kylenex, Sorceress, Salty. J Girl, and Salty. Hey. Hey. Frank. <laughs> Shit. Frank, arise. No. Arise, Frank. Frank, arise. Frank? Arise, Frank. <laughs> Frank is busy. Isn't that Aww. right, Frank? <laughs> Frank, get out of here, you whore. <laughs> Frank, yeah. Frank, 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 <laughs> well, gotta thank all those lovely fuckos <laughs> who give, giving us hardware. Frank, arise. Arise, Frank. Frank, arise. Arise, arise Frank. Frank. Doctor. Dot hot dog. You <laughs> too can claim that last spot. <laughs> Bye, guys. Peace. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>